So my wife and I were talking about our spiritual walks, and, and it occurred to me that when I first decided to walk with God, I felt all this power and this passion. So I felt like I was in a sports car, and I was, I had the wheel, and I was going to turn around, you know, hey, you know, I, I got this, God, you know, and I'm going to run around, and, you know, and I'm, I'm doing, you know, all over the place, and, and I'm, you know, running into trees and running off cliffs, and, and it just was all over the place, you know, and, and, you know, God's laws kind of felt constraining, like it was, you know, hey, I know what I'm doing, just leave me alone, and I'll, and I'll do it, and I'll do it, and I'll do it. But, you know, that was not the way to go. I was, I was, it was, it was basically realizing that that was not it. And so I had a revelation, and a revelation requires a response. The revelation was this. I wasn't truly seeking God. So, I'm an engineer, so forgive the, the five R's, but what I, what I started to do was rise up in the morning, read his word every day, write three things I was grateful for and my plans for the day that I would do with God, not for God, because for God is my interpretation, reflect on, on those plans and have him prune that for process and people, not outcomes, and then think about relationships throughout the day. And that sent me on a journey that was much more satisfying. If I was at peace, I wasn't all over the place. And then people would come into my life and would be part of uh, the journey and would help me correct. And it was more like, a, instead of a sports car wildly going off in different directions, it was kind of like a bicycle. You know how you, you uh, when you first start training your child how to ride a bicycle and you've got your hand on the back, they're still steering. God wants us to steer. He doesn't want us taking our hands off the wheel. That's our, that's our free will. And he wants us to keep pedaling. But if his hand's on the back of the bike, then we're doing okay. If we say, no, God, I got this, that's when we run off into a tree. So then I notice that I'm getting little joys along the way. And sometimes I'm getting corrected by little storms along the way, okay, and things that would happen. But now I'm doing it with God, and it's much more satisfying. And over time, it, the road becomes narrower and narrower as I really kind of look for um, where God is and, and where his light is. And so uh, as I'm heading towards there, then God can use me to shine his light on the entire world. Merry Christmas.